Okay, earlier on you corrected me not to call you Demi. And you said Kamalaku yes. Demima. So why? So Umawami she named me Udemi. Manje as as I grew up everybody knew, knew me as Udemi. And as I got older I started to dive into this name Demi a little bit more it translates to half and I just felt like no I'm a whole person so what's the right term yeah why did you name me Udemi why half and she said half of me so it's half mother but then also it's mother earth you know what I mean so I do have two Lindiwe with the sunrise, dawn. Um, yeah, so that's the reason why because it's just every time it's like half. People just say half. Mm. And obviously being biracial mm. as well it's like I'm um, half um, yeah so that's where yeah tell her about the back by 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 bang bees and it come along with it hello yeah yeah oh my mom in a oh it come like you late I got time to go to about the party cool some people are fine with it but she's like no I was named Google late and our names are so, um, our names have meaning and I love that and um, yeah, so that's the reason why. How did you maintain um, Isis Zulusako when you, most people when they have stayed overseas for so long, they hang on to and then they lose traces of themselves. So what's the thinking behind that or is they even thinking, was it conscious? Oh my. <laughs> my cousins they know <laughs> that's the only one that they know <laughs> because it was actually nice when the parents would scold us in front of other people they had a way to say yay <laughs> uh, in our own language but um because as a child coming from london i only spoke english I came when I was around six years old, so I was either going to play on my own and not speak Isisulu, or I was going to learn and enjoy the things that we enjoyed as children, climbing trees, picking mangoes that are still green, putting salt, you know, and it was such a beautiful time that I had, a beautiful childhood that I had, Etegui, for that time, and then I, that's where I learned, and it was a beautiful way to learn. And then I found that that lesson very seriously. I was like, no, I really wanna, I really wanna mm. learn this. But then I did lose it after a while. Mm. And then there was no one to speak to in, in the UK, and it kind of vanished. But then when I came back, mm. then it just all came back. And suffered a <laughs> <laughs> An interesting journey. Then earlier we talked about e mental health in the African sense and Africans in the diaspora, how it's viewed. Do you want to unpack that a bit? Um, oh, mental health. So I was talking about how, um, how it, because you were asking me how we navigate. Isindu, yeah, um, Peshe, mm. and I was talking about after we stopped uh, stopped filming. We spoke about how it came to me that what is really important for people of the diaspora to know in terms of their spirituality and mental health, because things are we're diagnosed with Western ideas of illness, which is actually, as you as you said, it's it's having gifts, it's having uh, extra senses, it's the ability to see beyond time, you know. Uh, and and so expressing that if you're in a foreign place that doesn't understand that you're just automatically crazy and in indigenous cultures there's obviously 
uh, the knowing of oh we're able to see these gifts okay let's guide or let's or this is you know what i mean whereas there it's like straight to the hospital and you're just out of out of touch out of out of your yeah and i think that is quite dangerous is the 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 in that kind of a way um with your gifts and then the my people that i know like they have those the vision their sight the in the inner knowing um, and it, it's painful for me to see those people um, put into institutions um, around, surrounded by people that have no idea of how this thing goes. Um, and I think it's something that there should be an awareness at least, or there should be more people from the diaspora work, working in spaces that, you know, where it's, that, that there's more cultural awareness. You know, London is quite a cosmopolitan um, space and you were exposed to lots of different types of Africans. Are we all more or less the same? I think, yeah. Um, in my the event I was doing, Diaspora Dialogues, I think that's what I was trying to prove, was that even though we all have the variations, it's still the same um, route. It's still standard pay, guys, standard wood, standard music. Yeah, one of those just things that we all relate to in a similar way, but maybe the ingredients are different. So it's rice and peas here, but it's ubon cheese, no jekwe, or whatever it is, you know, we have our same um, tastes. And then, yeah, I think we all do, do go through very similar experiences, but there is so much beauty in the differences. And that's one thing that I do, like I said, love about London is this incredible abundance of this multiculturalism. You can go to a Ghanaian wedding on Friday, you know a Jamaican whatever on Sunday and it's like you just uh, exposed to all these beautiful different cultures that is one of the things that I cherish from my experience in London and then lastly if um, there are parents who are raising children outside of Africa what do you think is important for them to pay attention to I think language and tradition um, I think it's quite tricky because the generation above us, they, we were like, we were really um, in survival mode a lot, right? So there's so much that comes from that. Um, but And I think in terms of like assimilating, we're like, okay, we're in a new space, figure it out. Like, figure out how you're going to fit in in this space. And then I just think it's important not to get, like, let certain things get lost so that when you come back home, you're not a foreigner. You know what I mean? It's like and you have that you have that inner awareness of like well, this is home too um, so I think also the concept of visiting is really important really really important and I would say language as well language is really important because then you can navigate in your own space um, knowing how um, to communicate whereas if you can only then it's tricky as you get older to learn languages right mm. yeah thank you Demi thank you Demi